Hello and welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Glad that you could join us once again. We'll be speaking with Dr. Lishan Aklog. He's joining us here as chairman and CEO of Lucid Diagnostics. Lucid Diagnostics is a commercial stage cancer prevention diagnostics company. Lishan is going to discuss the company's ISOGARD esophageal DNA test and esophageal cell collection device, the first and only commercially available tools designed with the goal of preventing cancer and cancer deaths through widespread early detection. Thank you for joining us, Lishan Aklog. Good morning, Neil. Thanks for having me. Give us a bit of professional background and expand on your current role at Lucid. Yeah, great. I've had an interesting journey. I previously was a cardiothoracic surgeon, an academic practice for, for many, many years, and I became an entrepreneur and medical medical technology executive about um, 11 years ago and founded a the parent company of Lucid Diagnostics, which is PadMet, and, and, uh, which is now a public company. And Lucid Diagnostics uh, arose, and uh, when we, we created Lucid Diagnostics in 2018 to license really groundbreaking technology that was being developed, that had been developed at Case Western Reserve University uh, to detect um, a precancerous condition uh, to prevent this very highly lethal form of esophageal cancer. As far as the current diagnostic landscape of esophageal cancer, why does it remain an unmet medical need? Yeah, it's really, really quite remarkable, um, and most uh, individual, most people, and and many phys- physicians are really unaware of it. Esophageal cancer has grown uh, in incidence about 500 percent over the last four decades, while every other cancer, all the common ones we know about, breast, colon, lung, et cetera, have remained flat or gone down. Uh, so a fivefold increase over the past mm-hmm. over the past four decades. And esophageal cancer is really bad. It's the second most lethal cancer, just second to pancreatic cancer. Uh, only about one in five people will survive to five years after the diagnosis. So it's, it's truly one of our worst killers. And the the landscape is such that of the 16,000 deaths a year that occur from this cancer, all of them are actually preventable. Um, and they're preventable because we understand exactly what the biologic processes are that lead to it. There's a precancerous condition that can be identified and monitored and then treated if it progresses um, and it can be eliminated prior to developing cancer. It's true. We have the opportunity here for true cancer prevention, not just early detection of cancer. And true cancer prevention is, is all, all, always should be our goal. In this case, it's extremely important because uh, unlike some other cancers, if you, even if you detect esophageal cancer at its earliest stages, uh, as a stage one cancer, for example, it still has about a 50% mortality rate. So, so you'll still have half of those patients die, even if you pick it up early. Um, so that's the unmet need. Uh, the unmet need is, is the availability of a tool to detect this precancer so that you can prevent um, uh, it developing into cancer. And the good news is now that that unmet need is uh, we have tools available to us in the form of ESOGARD that can reliably detect the, the precancer and make sure that the patient's monitored or treated prior to developing cancer. Well, tell us about what Lucid Diagnostics is doing to address this unmet need and its development process now. Sure. So um, Lucid has this uh, groundbreaking molecular diagnostic test uh, called ESOGARD. And ESOGARD has the ability to detect changes in the cells um, in the lining of the esophagus and the food tube um, that ha- that are subtle. They're not you know, mutations or other complex changes. They're very subtle uh, changes in the DNA in those cells, which indicate the, the development of this early precancerous condition. And I say it's groundbreaking, not lightly, because they're really it is really new to have the ability to pick up these very subtle early precancerous um, stages using a molecular a diagnostic test. There really are no other examples, even in other cancers, where you can detect the, the, those abnormal, abnormal cells directly at such an early stage because the changes are so subtle. And so the technology we, we licensed and we're, and we're marketing right now, uh, what the way it works is that uh, a patient who has appropriate risk factors, and we can, t- we can touch on what those are in a second, um, who's at risk for having the esophageal precancer, undergoes a very simple um, test in the office where they swallow this little capsule that's on a very sort of piece of uh, silicone spaghetti and um, and it, uh, it it has a balloon on it <clears throat> which allows cells in the lower part of the food tube to be swabbed 
um, and then sent to a laboratory. So this is, again, in an office, no anesthesia, no, you just sort of swallow this, this capsule. It gets pulled out and it takes about a minute. Um, and, the, and the cells are then sent to our laboratory, and this very sophisticated molecular, diagnostic, molecular uh, analysis is done, and a, the result comes back as positive or negative. If it's positive, then the, that means that the patient may have uh, this precancerous condition or may even have cancer, um, and that requires a follow-up uh, endoscopy procedure to get a, um, a direct look at it and, and directly collect additional samples and determine uh, where if the patient does have that and what the appropriate follow-up is. If the patient, if the result is negative, then then no endoscopy is needed and and, and they're just followed up. So um, again, great opportunity and a very simple office-based <coughs> test to be able to determine whether these patients who are at risk have this. Um, precancerous condition. Talk about how ESOGARD compares to the current diagnostic standard uh, in this space. What makes it miles ahead of the current standard? Yeah, the current diagnostic standard, so-called gold standard, or I think we might say it's more silver or bronze, is endoscopy. And I just explained to you how simple it is to collect the, the cells for the testing and for ESOGARD. And endoscopy is nothing is anything but simple. It requires the patient and one other person to take the day off of work. You go to a, a, a facility, uh, it's done under anesthesia, uh, a large tube is inserted uh, in the, into the esophagus and, and samples are collected. Um, and the problem is that uh, patients who should be getting this test who are recommended for this kind of uh, screening hardly ever get an endoscopy. Uh, only about 5% of the those who are at risk and are recommended for testing by guidelines <clears throat> ever <laughs> excuse me ever get a ever get an endoscopy and that's and that's why the, we have this current tragedy that endoscopy has failed as a screening test for this precancerous condition and you know this is quite common there are about 30 million people who are recommended for screening who have the risk factors um and a and a, a possibility of having this precancer that in, the risk factors are heartburn um, being being male, over 50, white race, obesity, smoking, um, or a family history of this condition. So anyone who has three out of the, out of the seven um, is recommended for testing, and very, very few of them are getting that kind of testing with endoscopy, and now they have the opportunity to do so much more simply, and now we have the opportunity to eliminate these preventable deaths from esophageal cancer. Talk about the next steps or milestones for Lucid Diagnostics, and then give us a website where we can learn more. So um, Lucid has really made a, an enormous amount of progress. Um, uh, it's not easy to, to commercialize a new test. There's a, a whole variety of steps that are required, uh, but all of those have really um, gone well with lockdown. We have the ability to discuss, uh, To we, we, we've locked down how to talk to physicians about it. We have very enthusiastic um, responses. And we're, we have a laboratory that works well. The next milestones are really the last final step, which is to work on getting uh, the, the various insurance companies to cover the test. And we're making really good progress on that. What they look for is a special type of, of data uh, called clinical utility data, which demonstrates that the physicians use the test in an appropriate way. And we're making great progress on collecting that and continuing to do so and looking forward in the next year or two to have a broader insurance coverage for this so patients have access to this potentially life-saving test. So people get more information about ESOGARD itself at ESOGARD.com, which is E-S-O-G-U-A-R-D.com, uh, or our company, Lucid Diagnostics, at L-U-C-I-D-D-X.com. Dr. Acklock, I appreciate uh, your time this morning. Thank you so much. Thanks, Neil. Really appreciate it. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Dr. Lishan Acklock. Audio copies of this program are available at healthprofessionalradio.com.au, also at Anchor Spotify. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.